Welcome again in our second video of uh, video journalism course and uh, a video format. Video format is very uh, renowned thing in video journalism uh, arena and different type of format using in different places uh, like uh, NTSC, PAL, uh, SECAM, different type of word you can heard from the different places. But what does it mean of uh, this word? Uh, this word is came from the, uh, the video format which is uh, using in different countries like NTSC normally used in uh, North America, America and Canada and PAL system uh, is using the Europe and Asia in Bangladesh also. So, the NTSC system is uh, mainly depend on the uh, frame rate, it is uh, 30 frame per second. It means in the video you will find 30 frame in one second when you shoot, when you edit and when you broadcast. So, it is related with the, uh, the file um, um, video format related with the uh, broadcasting si uh, system. So, satellite and broadcasting all are linked with this uh, system. Uh, in Bangladesh, we are using PAL system. PAL system means uh, 25 frame per second. So, in your camera, you will have all option, the NTSC option, PAL option and uh, some camera you will cam get CCAM, CCAM also, uh, which is uh, not now is very, not now is not popular in uh, in the videography market. So, PAL is a, is a mainly we are using in Bangladesh, uh, in most of the Asian country and Europe also. Why we are going to learn this system? Because we are dealing with the broadcasting um, um, method. Uh, if you broadcast any video uh, through your uh, for your uh, TV channel or for any purpose broadcast, it means through satellite, that time it is required that you have to have uh, put the same uh, system, same format uh, to your shooting, editing and dubbing. If you do not do these things, what happen? If you shoot in the NTSC like 30 frame per second, most of, most of the uh, mobile camera have the 30 frame per second, but if you edit in PAL system, you will face a different type of problem. If it is an interview, then your lip sync will be uh, mismatch after one minute. So, it is very technical thing, but uh, sometime you can see some video which is uh, like uh, the sound is uh, uh, giving uh, one information and the lips is giving a different information. So, that is very important to shoot in the same format where you are going to edit. So, your editor should know that which format you are using uh, for the shooting and they, he or she will use the same format for the editing. Yes, in the present time because it is the digital world, you can upload your video on YouTube, social media and other, uh, f um, other um, platform, then you can, you can convert it when you will uh, transform this video to the another format like uh, during the export, we can choose different format uh, for that. But the, uh, the important thing is the shooting and editing should be in the same format, otherwise you will face different type of problem which I mentioned earlier. But uh, the filler footage, you can, you can choose any format for the shooting, any format for the uh, editing. But uh, your um, uh, computer will be in the very difficult situation because it needs more RAM, more space, more power uh, to adjust with these two type of systems. So, better to use uh, one system for your shooting, editing and dubbing. So, next one is the, the line because it is related with the broadcasting system. In the earlier uh, time, uh, before the digital era start, uh, we use the uh, video format like uh, 4 is to 3 in our camera, 4 is to 3 and uh, the line, uh, la uh, there is a upper field and lower field, uh, still uh, uh, the broadcasting system is using the upper field and lower field. Uh, so, there is the two field we shoot, Sometimes we see some uh, videos in the internet that uh, the age like uh, I am uh, 
shaking my hand and uh, the age is uh, it's, 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 it's like a uh, different type of cropping 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 things and uh, the sometimes we can't realize that why it's happening because of the upper field and lower field so if you know this uh, system then you can control it uh, for your uh, social media video or you can upload it in a different way so upper field and lower field is the basic elements for the um, uh, broadcasting situation uh, in pal system there is a line number uh, 625 and uh, in the in the ntsc system there is a line number is 525 so uh, the line number is also different uh, so this ta this times is, is, is it becomes complicated to you also that why i am telling these things maybe you can join a tv channel that time you can uh, ask the same question that do you know the pal system or ntnc system if you can say anything about the system they might think that uh, you are not the suitable person for the video journalist because it's linked with their broadcasting, editing and shooting. But if you make your video for the online purpose, I do not think that uh, right now you have to worry too much about this uh, uh, format. So, let us move on to the next seg segment, it is the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the 4 is to 3 is the TV ratio, right now we are using 16 is to 9. And uh, most of the camera you have the HD format. HD means high definition format, which is the 16 is the width and height is 9, the ratio. So, and the pixel size is uh, 1080 by uh, 1920 pixel uh, per frame. So, that is the HD video, but before that, there is a different type of video like uh, 4 is to 3, there is a SD and uh, uh, it is very small video compared with this HD, but uh, in future you will find a more bigger video like 4K and 8K. So, we have to prepare for this uh, uh, development and uh, shooting, editing and dubbing. Uh, right now in present situ situation, uh, most of the videographer using HD video for shooting, editing and transmitting. Uh, our in Bangladesh also using uh, some TV channel in Bangladesh also using this uh, HD uploading system. In HD format, it is uh, not mandatory to learn the whole method that uh, uh, the SECAM and NTSC or PEL, but the important thing is frame rate. Frame rate is very important for shooting and editing and transmitting. In HD format also you have to choose this uh, point that uh, the frame rate would be a 30 frame per second or 25 frame per second. In DSLR camera there is a another option is 24 frame per second. So, what does it mean the 24 frame per second? Yes, in the earlier in the film shooting they use 20 frame, uh, 24 frame per second. So, still who are the filmmaker, they love to use this 24 frame per second, but for us, I do not think that it is required. So, better to use 25 frame per second or 30 frame per second. But the most challenging parts in the mobile phone, it has only one 30 frame per second. So, if you use a mobile phone for your videography, uh, video shooting or video journalism uh, project, then this is the only one option, they are 30 frame per second. Yes, some mobile have some more than that, 60 frame per second, 50 frame per second and 120 frame per second also and DSLR camera also have that this option, the frame per second is higher than that. And uh, it, it, is, it is used for the slow shutter, uh, uh, slow motion video. So, we will discuss it later because it is a basic course and um, we will stick with this two point that is 25 frame per second or 30 frame per second. If you really think about the Bangladeshi uh, broadcasting system, better to choose the 25 frame per second, but uh, if it is uh, this video is only for the online purpose, then you can choose 30 frame per second because you, 
the mobile will support you in this system. Remember again that if you choose 30 frames per second for your shooting, your editing panel would be the same setup 30 frames per second and your uh, transport the other format that means the exporting would be the same setup. Then you will give the optimum result of your uh, project. One more point I have to discuss in this uh, uh, segment, this is the uh, aspect ratio. Yes, we are choosing the one that is 16 by 9. Yes, we can choose it and we can shoot it, we can edit it. And sometimes we use the uh, older footage, older footage means a stock footage which is uh, 4 is to 3 or different format one by one. So, what we are going to do with this type of uh, matching, yes, the editor will help you to match these types of uh, footage. Maybe you will get a one camera which is I have only one format is 4 is to 3, that time your composition will be a different. And if you have an option that you can choose uh, 4 is to 3, 16 9 or 1 by 1, then use the 16 9 format uh, for your uh, video project and video storytelling because most of the editing panel and most of the broadcasting right now and online platform support with this uh, uh, the aspect ratio. You are familiar with uh, some uh, question in journalism that uh, if you are going to take a, any uh, story that who is the main person in the story and what they are doing, why they are doing and how they are doing. So, this basic question is 5W1H is the basic uh, elements of the journalism and uh, when we are making any story, uh, writing a story or audiovisual story or any type of story like multimedia story or um, animated story, every time we try to answer these questions, you know, who, what, why, where, how and when. In the video journalism also it is very important to give the answer with the visuals. So, if I think that I am going to give an answer that who is in the main uh, person in this story, then I will choose a different type of shots which uh, give you the meaning of who is the important person. So, for that we, we will use the close shot. Close shot means that head and shoulder shot, which will give you the audience that he or she is the main person in the story or he will guide or she will guide this a story uh, to the audience on or maybe maybe they describe the story and the next question is what what's going on over there uh, what's what what they are doing and wha uh, and uh, what is the purpose or what is happening over there for that if you visually show this uh, give this answer that what is going there then the sh shot would be a mid shot. Mid shot means the activity shot that person is maybe doing a work or doing a job or doing something, it would be a mid shot. And the next part is where he or she is doing this work, where, where means there is a place, that means it is a wide shot, where and when it might be an extra wide shot might be it's, it denote that this is the uh, midday of the uh, time or the a, uh, sunset or sunrise or uh, any any time it, it the extra white shot will give you the time uh, that uh, yes it's uh, happening during this time so we can get give the, get the answer from the who what where and when but there's a, to another important question we have to give uh, the answer to the audience through visuals is why and how. Why and how, how most of the time we use that as uh, the extreme close up or the mid shot and the why, why it is happening 
why this, this, this uh, story is going on, why he might uh, uh, accused. So, that time also we use the close shot or extreme close shot. So, uh, audience can understand these things, oh, this, this thing is going on for that, that reason. So, if you just uh, think a story on the COVID-19 uh, during the lockdown, there is a rickshaw puller. Uh, he did not get any, any type of, of work, like uh, he is moving whole Dhaka city with the, his rickshaw, but uh, no one is uh, hiring his rickshaw. So, for that story, what would be the shots for to tell the story to the audience? Like where uh, he is uh, uh, running his rickshaw and or with the uh, or moving uh, in in the place. So it's a, it's a long shot, like uh, from a top of any building, that is a one rickshaw puller is moving uh, in the in the road uh, alone, no passenger uh, on the rickshaw. So it's a wide shot. It give you the place that where it is it is. And then uh, the close shot will give you the rickshaw puller and rickshaw. That is a close shot. That oh, is a rickshaw, rickshaw puller. His name is this, this, this. Or just for example, his name is Karim. Karim is uh, pulling the rickshaw uh, in the road in Dhaka city, uh, where the lockdown is happening and no one is here. So for that, you have to choose different type of shot white shot for the place, uh, close shot for the Karim and the mid shot with the rickshaw he is pulling. Why he is pulling this shot? Maybe you can choose some close shot that the shop is shut down, there is no people in the street or some other elements which uh, give you the uh, meaning that there is a lockdown in the situation like uh, there is a uh, in some road there is a uh, blocked road or in Dhaka city uh, some road they use the bamboo to stop the road you can't move for, with this uh, place. So like these types of close shot uh, to give you the information that this is a lockdown situation or you can choose uh, some other shot like the police is uh, not uh, allowing to go further. And there is a why and how it is happening and that time you can, you can download some uh, information from the COVID, about the COVID-19 and you can uh, during the edit you can use this uh, short. So, for this story without any sound, without any interview, you can only use the visuals to show your audience that it is happening in the Dhaka city and through this one person you can, you can show the reality of the Dhaka city during the lockdown period, the hard life of a lower income people and they cannot get job and people are still in the home. For that, it is uh, in that way, and the, uh, again with these uh, shots, the wide, medium, and close, you will add some more vocabulary, more vocabulary of the visual vocabulary is the action and reaction shot. When they are breaking the wall, is action. What is the reaction of his face, or the audience? Maybe in the some other building, the near uh, one building, someone is seeing the what's going on. Uh, and you can you can take a shots from them, so action and reaction shot. Uh, you can take these things uh, uh, simultaneously, or you can take these things in a different time. Like uh, first initially, you can take uh, action shot, action shot, and action shot. It it might be a wide or close or mid, and reaction shot also would be a, a the three in three format, maybe wide, medium, or close. Just remember that during this time, you will choose your angle first and different angle is very important and for that the placement of your camera is very important. Now, the another thing is cutaway shot and insert shot. Insert shot is when you take a long shot of this uh, uh, the ground where they are working and if you choose a very close shot 
of this ground of this white shot it call is in shot shot why because audience want to know the sh the detail like uh, you are you are taking a white shot of a building that is uh, uh, the, um, where the worker is working yes they are uh, working on a wall and they are breaking the wall that time the audience and your visuals need a close shot of this the the condition of the wall is not very strong when they are uh, using the hammer is just breaking out uh, and you, you will give the answer to the audience that yes th that's why the uh, the building uh, need to be uh, destroy and so on so is is a call insert shot insert shot in in uh, one sentence is uh, when you are choosing a, a white shot in inside the white shot if you select any close of shot that's called insert shot the another one is cutaway shot which is uh, just opposite of this insert shot like uh, the sky like the birds is moving uh, over the uh, area or maybe sunrise or maybe sunset which is not in the part of this uh, ground it means the reaction the worker is working very hard they are tired so they uh, need rest uh, so they are just sitting and hanging out and see like this that time you can show a shot which is a sky not needed that uh, you have to shoot in the same time you may use a different shot or stock footage uh, for the sky so that's the uh, vocabulary you have to input in your video that means visuals is different type of visuals and uh, insert shot normally it it is close shot or mid shot and cutaway shot it might be wide medium and close so if I sum up with the different type of shot, it is the f uh, first three segment is uh, three types is wide, medium and close and it will give you different type of question and uh, 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 give you the answer of the different type of question and insert shot and cutaway shot will give you more detail of the stories and action and reaction shot which will, which will give you the more, more force in your story like audience and the story will tell the uh, story in, in, in the faster way the action 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 what, what is the reaction of this action who is uh, breaking the wall the, uh, the face reaction would be different because he is uh, uh, pushing uh, he is uh, using his uh, own strength full strength to break the wall so that time I need some detail shot clear a uh, detailed and uh, specific shot like uh, the muscle of his hand the hammer and the expression of the eye hmm. that time you can you can when we edit it you can you can feel the atmosphere you can feel the pain you can feel the force you can feel the energy also in the story so two is, uh, example i gave you which is uh, one sad story during the lockdown and which is the uh, which will give you the uh, futuristic uh, things that uh, during the lockdown we are stuck with our economy but now it is changing and the day to day the uh, lower level people or daily labor are getting work uh, in during the lockdown situation so you can tell the story through the only visuals you don't need any interview or you don't need any sound for that only the available sound would be uh, enough for these uh, stories available sound only the road sound or the construction sound N you don't need anything uh, to tell this uh, story only use the visuals this part is related with the uh, video 2 uh, videography different type of shots and placement now I am going to discuss about the camera placement. So, let us start. As I have discussed uh, about the different type of shots and uh, the meaning of different type of shots, 
but uh, the camera angle also give you a different uh, meaning like uh, is a low angle, eye level, top angle, side angle, uh, back angle also. Just think that you are going to take a wide shot. What would be your angle? Is a top angle or eye level or low angle? Normally, uh, the wide shot would uh, require the high angle uh, most of the cases, but sometimes we do not have option to go high angle. That time we use the low ang um, uh, eye level or just little upper of the eye, leg, eye, eye level. That time so we take a wide, angle, wide shot. So, in the uh, close shot, you have a different type of option. You can, you can choose a low angle, like uh, during the interview, we can use low angle for different meaning or different perspectives. So, is it might be a high level, high angle or eye level or low angle, but during the interview or the close shot, it is better to use the eye level shot. It's, it's, it will give you the perfect meaning of the person, this he is the or she is the right person or he, he or she is the main character of this story. Mid shot, yes, mid shot it is uh, required that uh, mid shot would be a maybe it, it is a eye level shot or top shot or low level shot, left angle or right angle or back shot maybe like what I give you example before that const under construction building or the, st the building uh, where the worker is working. So, that time when you think about the uh, mid shot that they are working one or two are working in, uh, in the, in the one, one place that you can choose the low angle shot that is the hammer is uh, m m m hitting on the ground or high level shot or side angle shot. So, there is a different type of uh, camera position you can choose uh, depending on the situation. So, in, in the basic rules, so we use uh, minimum 6 types of angle and uh, 6 types of mill the front, side, up, low and back. So, it is 6, you can, you can use more of that, if you use the permutation and combination then you, can, you will find 16 type of angle of your camera, but uh, in present it is uh, very uh, widely used in video journalism that drone shot from the above. Uh, previously like uh, 10 years ago or 15 years ago it, it was a dream. Uh, you know, dream to take a, um, uh, a drone shot because uh, with that time we use a helicopter to take the, the these types of shot, which was very expensive in that time. But now drone shot is very available. It's not expensive. It's not uh, uh, not uh, um, difficult to get a drone. Uh, for your story, if you need it, you can use drone shot and uh, drone shot, uh, uh, the angle of the drone shot is different from the, uh, the video camera or DSLR camera or mobile camera shot. So, if I give you a summary that if you remember 3, 9, 6, 3 I already explained wide, medium, close, 6 is 6 types of uh, uh, the uh, camera placement and 9, what is this that mean? when you start taking any shot, at least hold on for the 9 seconds. Otherwise, you will not use this shot for <laughs> during your editing. Why is 9 second? Because when we start a shot, that 1 or 2 second might be a sh little shaky. Then the middle of the time, you will get uh, the nine, 9 second and when you stop the shot, that means, that is the 2 second again over there. So, 4 you in between you will find 5 second and out of this 5 second you can use 2 to 3 second for uh, from this shot. And just remember for the journalism, 
for the journalistic uh, story, uh, every shot needs to uh, at least you have to show 3 to 5 seconds for shot, otherwise audience will not understand uh, the meaning of the shot. Uh, for that minimum requirement is 9 seconds and I will suggest you not stop a shot uh, less than 12 seconds. So, 9 to long on, it means it might be a 2 minute, 3 minutes, 4 minute uh, your shot duration. So, short duration is very important and remember who are from the photography field, they are in very hurry uh, to take a shot like a photography. Uh, photography is a one second click or less than a one second click, but the, for the videography we need a different type of shot to establish a one situation, one sequence. So, for that you need a different type of shot and the short duration would be a long like a 9 second or more than that. And the editing panel will decide that which shot will uh, need uh, which type of duration. For the long shot might be a 2 second to 3 second, for the close shot maybe so the same 3 second and the action reaction shot might be lesser than this time. But if you have uh, enough footage uh, for, uh, for your story, the uh, story will give you more meaning to the audience or give you more visual meanings to the audience. So, uh, in this session, I will uh, sum up this session that uh, when you taking a shot, it shots like a word. We use different word for making a one sentence sentence by sentence will make you the give you the um, one paragraph and different paragraph uh, adding a different paragraph will give you a one story. So, like that that the writing a story the visual story almost the similar way to establish this thing. We have discussed uh, different type of uh, shots and it is uh, use and how to take these types of shots. But the important thing is when you make a visual story, it very important that uh, your shots should be steady. So, for that who are using DSLR camera or mobile camera, please use tripod. Uh, without tripod your sh hand will be shake and your shot will be shaky shot. During the editing you will not get the uh, optimum result with that uh, shots. And the video story if you use uh, video camera, you can use handheld because it will give you more steady because it, it makes for the video like here, you can take it in that way or you can take it that way. If you, you take a low angle shot like here, huh, there is a there is a handle over there, there is a grip over there and you can choose the wide, medium, close, zoom in, zoom out. So, there is a there is an option, there is a capacity to, to hold this camera and make this camera steady like here, like here you can you can use it, but uh, in this DSLR camera or mobile camera you, you only use your hand and you know your hand is shaking use the tripod, use the mobile holder or for digital camera, a DSLR camera use big tripod or a small tripod as you require. But please use tripod to take any type of shots, do not be lazy because it kills time to put a one camera on tripod, use the um, water balance and take a shot, yes it is the time cling work videography and video journalism. Yes, you if you choose your profession like a video journalist in a spot reporting, better to use video camera. But in the present time, people are making video story uh, for the different purposes like feature story uh, or the soft story. So, that that is case you can choose uh, a DSLR camera and mobile camera also. 
Yes, mobile camera will also give you a more option, flexible option to take uh, videos in, the, in, a, in a difficult situation, but make sure the shot is steady and smooth. One more thing I want to add and in this video that is the, the meaning of the shots and what shot will come after what. Yes, the editor will choose these things, but if you shoot the shot one after another, the editor will take uh, not take more time to edit these things. When you work in a uh, TV channel for reporter as a reporter or video journalist, uh, they don't have enough time for editing any stories. Like uh, at three o'clock, you shoot a uh, one report and it will go online at 4.30 or 5.30 uh, news. That time do not have any time or enough time for you and for the editor. So, there is a one synchronizing stuff that yes, one white shot, mid shot, close shot, done or after that that uh, close shot, mid shot and wide shot. So, it is is like a grammar uh, to uh, communicate with the editor and uh, video journalist. So, uh, if you choose your field in that way, then you can, you can add this uh, format. So, the, in the sum up, remember during the shooting 3, 9, 6, wide, medium, close, 3 shots, 3 types of shots minimum 9 second and different angle, at least 6 types of angle. Do not uh, um, forget this option 3, 9, 6 for every shot. If you give you different type of a uh, different angle shot, then it, uh, the story will be more interesting visually. Thank you all.